Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Album of the Week. And today, the album of the week, thanks to Witch's Coven Distribution, because this came out of nowhere. Suffocation with Pierced from Within. Oh my. Sealed. 1995 Roadrunner copy. Hell yeah. I don't know if somebody at Roadrunner found these or like there's no 2023. There's no reissue on here. There's just 1995. And we have one of my favorite Suffo lineups. Frank Mullen, Doug Soretio, Terrence Hobbs, Chris Richards, and you got Doug Bone on drums. Now, no Mike Smith on drums, but trust me, Pierce Drum Within is probably one of, this is where we'll all get into giant arguments, so... We're not going to get into what is the best Suffocation album. We're not going to do that, okay? As much as I want to, but... but I still feel... Especially Despise the Sun... But, uh, yeah, Despise the Sun. Very similar production. But, oh my goodness. The title track alone is one of the heaviest death metal songs ever. And it just opens up with a banger. But as soon as Thrones of Blood, whenever you used to see them fucking live, Frank would say, this next song's about fucking killing people. It's called Thrones of Blood. And then, you know, if you've seen Suffo, you know what happens next. This man with his Quicksilver shirt would just bring the brutality and his anger towards his ex-wife at the time. Man, he really did not like his ex-wife at the time. Like, after the reunion, like, around, like, 2005, like, every time, like, he, his stage banter was fucking hilarious. But, yeah, like, this has the original Suffocation correspondence, which is sick. The phone numbers for booking everything and the gorgeous cover art which i do need on vinyl eventually uh but uh hiro takashi i love the cover art it's just so fucking cool but oh shit welcome oh man now this riff alone But 
If you don't like this, you don't like death metal. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you know the lyrics, you know you want to sing along. Be my guest. This song is just... I can't explain how good this is. It's just... I wish I could headbang so fucking bad. Oh shit, it's coming, folks. Now, a lot of you death metal purists probably hate this next part, but you shouldn't. Because, real quick, it's probably one of the heaviest breakdowns ever. Ever. Like, of all fucking time. That counts hardcore, death metal, everything. Because Suffocation play fucking brutal death metal. They have that New York style, which is a nice mix of hardcore and death metal. And, yeah. Just prepare yourselves. If you've never heard the breakdown of Thrones of Blood, and you're not a fan of the hardcore way of moshing or dancing then this is when you're going to get windmills in the pit and you're going to have fights between the push pit guys and the hardcore kids that like suffocation but here we go <laughs> Like, watch the fuck? Like, how do you not like that? Seriously. But seriously, Suffocation, Pierced From Within, one of the best death metal records from the 1990s. And after Pierced From Within, you have Despise the Sun, and then Souls to Deny. Kind of you know, like, that's it. I mean, I know you have, like, the self-titled Blood Oath, Human Pinnacle, Blarga Blargan, whatever. But I'm talking early suffocation. Only the 90s. But well, this is 1998. So, I'm sorry, but this was the end of an error. This was the end of early suffocation because like i don't like you can't go wrong with breeding the spawn effigy the demos fucking pierce from within especially but then like even going to the eps human waste in 1990 like that five year gap it just has a lot more technicality 
the production is exactly what you want from a death metal record. Like, because Suffocation for a long time, I feel, was plagued with, like, see, I actually like the wet blanket production of, like, Effigy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say wet blanket production, just... Uh, there, there's a lot of releases, like, listen to in Incantations onwards, or go, like, on, like, that production is, like, the definition of, like, wet blanket death metal, but the production on Effigy's right there, and, it, and it's a production bands today still strive for, but I feel like with Pierce from Within, but especially Despise the Sun, the production is just, I think, what Suffocation's always been looking for, and never recaptured. I'm sorry, but, like, I know I have a Souls to Deny poster, but, like, when it comes to, you know, post-hiatus reunion albums, yeah, it's not that bad. But, that's my favorite post-reunion suffocation record. Like, the self-titled was whatever. I didn't really like Blood Oath at all, honestly. I mean, I haven't listened to it in a long time. Maybe I would like it now. Like, I haven't heard it since it came out. But, like, the, the last one I listened to was called, like, Pinnacle of something. And I just, I don't even remember the title of the record. That's what I mean. It was just like, eh. But like at least at least Souls to Deny like had badass artwork and some cool songs. But like Pierce from Within, it's just these nine tracks are nine of the best death metal tracks. And the re-recording of Breeding the Spawn, the track Breeding the Spawn, is again one of the most brutal displays in death metal history. So Obviously, if you're a fan of death metal, I'd say Pierce from Within by Suffocation is a grade A slab of New York brutality. And you can't have Pierce from Within without Effigy. So, yeah. And I do not know if the reissues... I know Human Waste is sadly sold out. I don't know if Despise the Sun is sold out or not. So, don't sleep on this shit. Seriously. Like, if you're a fan of Suffocation, I know the red on red's weird. But, like, yeah. This is Despise the Sun. I know they changed the cover art, but they didn't change the fucking tunes. But limited to 900 copies. I know there's more than 900 fans of Suffocation, so this was limited to a thousand and it sold out first. So just a heads up. But I don't know where my buddy at Witch's Coven got these from, but they legit came like sealed, like they were brand new, like fucking Christmas presents and shit. Like, legit, they were just in these, like, perfect condition, and, yeah, 1995. There's nothing else to lead me to think otherwise. So, thank you so fucking much to Witch's Coven Distribution. Good doing business with you, as always. It's good having some sick tape trading buddies. But, again, real quick, just in case you missed it. Fuck yeah. Suffocation, Pierce from Within, 1995, Roadrunner Record. And again, just a... I was not expecting this at all. And it's just been getting played nonstop. 
since it arrived. Sorry, effigy. And I, again, like, it's one of those things, like, sometimes effigy is my favorite, sometimes I, I just love the Human Waste EP, it just depends on my mood, but, uh, yeah, like, what you, Coven said, uh, and, uh, I think Josh said this is how his copy came as well, like, it came in, like, this. I mean, it might be a bootleg, and I, I don't care if it is, because it sounds fucking great, and I don't know how else I would have got a copy. But, yeah, this is how it came. So, if you're like, you're an idiot, how can you not tell that's a bootleg? I'm sorry, but it's just done extremely well if it is. The only thing that's kind of weird is the uh, actual sticker on the tape. That, that's the only thing that's kind of, I'm like, huh, that's just weird. But everything else is not drawing any red flags, and not like it would matter anyway, but I'm just curious, because also it has a fucking barcode, and it just says Roadrunner, it's not like a weird, you know, sub-record label, like my Cryptopsy tape. I know this is a... A real record label, but I'm I'm positive this is not an official version of None So Vile, but Zim Zum Records. Like I don't think Century Media is mentioned anywhere in here. It's like through M and M music or some shit. Like I forget what it is. But it's the and like you have the full John the Baptist painting instead of just the head. That's why I love having this on tape, but also having it on vinyl. But with Pierce from Within, the only reason I want this on vinyl, aside from the artwork, is to complete my Suffocation 90s collection. But, again, I really have a hard time choosing, though, between Pierce from Within Breeding the Spawn, as much as I like Breeding the Spawn, though, it really, I'm sorry, as much as I like it, if it comes between Effigy and Pierced, this is legit a battle. And it just depends on my mood, honestly. Like, okay. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But I'll tell you one thing. Can't go wrong with the yellow suffocation logo. That's why I wore the yellow what incantation shirt. It just reminded me of it. But yeah. Again, you know, Suffocation's one of those death metal bands where nine out of ten of their records you can't go wrong with. But it's just I don't really enjoy some of the post reunion stuff. It kind of all starts just Oh, it's a suffocation album. You know, like, it is what it is. Like, sometimes there's a, two cool songs on it. It's not like where every fucking song is a banger. Pierce on Within, Thrones of Blood, Depths of Depravity, Suspended in Tribulation, Torn into Enthrallment. What a fucking banger to start your B-side with. The Invoking, Synthetically Revived, Brood of Hatred, and the re-recording of Breeding the Fucking Spawn. That song's about making fucking babies. And yeah, Frank Mullen, please come back. Please come back. But listen to Suffocation, Pierce from Within, and your hair will grow five inches. But thank you again to Witch's Coven Distribution. And if you made it 19 minutes into this video, I fucking love you as well. Thanks for watching as always. Listen to Suffocation. Support New York death metal. Especially Long Island based death metal. Hail. <laughs>